What's up, guys? I hope everybody's doing good. I just want to share something with you today. One of my favorite passages of scripture is Psalm 51. It's really powerful and kind of hits home for me. When I read it, I can feel his deep desire for God, his forgiveness, his repentant heart. All of those things are just clearly evident. It kind of reminds me of where I once was, broken and lost, and searching for the forgiveness of our Father. I just want to take a moment and read this scripture. As we read this, David is at a point where he's clearly broken in sin. He is searching for the forgiveness of the father, begging um, for him not to take the Holy Spirit away from him. You know, his heart is pure at this point. He is clearly recognized and repentant of his sins. He also understands that a true sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. When we think about a broken spirit, it's, it's clearly that it's broken, uh, lost. It doesn't know its ways. We don't need to worry about the ways of life, the directions that life is going to take us. We just need to be steadfast and focused on God and let God direct our lives and let God take us in the, in the direction that he wants us to go. And think about a, a broken and contrite heart, broken and in need of healing. A healing that only our Father can give us. This world can't heal us the way that we need it. Contrite being repentful, regretful, apologetic. So a, a sincere, a sincerely broken heart in need of Christ, in need of that forgiveness, in need of that love. And I feel like that when we pray and we all pray. We pray for change. We pray for change in our life. We pray for change in direction, change in finances. But here David is, is begging for a change that is much, much deeper than that. And I feel like a lot of times when we pray, we tend to forget that. We forget where we're at and what we need from our Father. For me personally, I know that once we get to this point, it's a lot easier to exercise and do some of the things that this passage tells us. You know, let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have broken rejoice. You know, it's not until we really understand and feel the love of God and understand that what we have been forgiven from, what he has saved us from, that we can truly rejoice in, in the darkest times of our life through the brokenness, through the trials. Being able to do that is something that really brings peace and comfort in, in those times when we really feel lost and that this world is just falling apart around us. It's not, it's all falling into place exactly where God wants it. It might not seem that way, but he's working everything out, even the bad for our good. I feel like these things are the evidence of our deepest heart seeking God. The, 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 the depths of our soul seeking his forgiveness for everything that we've done. When we pray, pray for a clean heart. Pray that he just blots out all of our iniquities, cleanses us of our sins each and every day that he can renew in us the spirit that he wants in us and that he never takes the Holy Spirit away. That way, when we face these trials, when we face these dark hours that we have in our life, we can truly rejoice because we have something greater. We have something that's going to get us through. We have a hope that the world doesn't understand. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you tonight to say thank you. Thank you for everything that you've done for us, God. We are a broken people. We live in a world full of sin. And we ask for your 
for your forgiveness. Father, we ask for your forgiveness that you will just create in us a clean heart, that we will seek you, that we won't worry about the ways of the world, the direction that this world is going to take us, that we only follow you, we only seek your face. We ask that your Holy Spirit just guides us, leads us everywhere that we go, and that we can rejoice, rejoice in the hope that we have in our darkest hours in our deepest times of trial. We have you, God, and that's far better than anything that this world has to offer. I pray that we continue to be broken so that we will always need you, so that we will never be above ourselves, we will never be above needing you, God, needing you to heal us, needing you to forgive us, needing you to guide us. We need you, God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.